sushi. Sushi is traditionally made with medium grain white rice, though it can be prepared with brown rice. It is often prepared with seafood, such as calamari, eel, or imitation crab meat. Many others are vegetarian. Sushi is often served with pickled ginger, gari, wasabi, and soy sauce. Daikon radish is popular as a garnish. Sushi is sometimes confused with sashimi, a related Japanese dish consisting of thinly sliced raw fish, or occasionally meat, and an optional serving of rice. Sushi originates in a Southeast Asian dish, known today as nizushi, dash salted fish, stored in fermented rice for possibly months at a time. The lacto fermentation of the rice prevented the fish from spoiling, the rice would be discarded before consumption of the fish. This early type of sushi became an important source of protein for its Japanese consumers. The term sushi comes from an antiquated grammatical form no longer used in other contexts, and literally means sour tasting. The overall dish has a sour and umami or savory taste. Nazushi still exists as a regional specialty, notably as Funazushi from Shiga Prefecture. Vinegar began to be added to the preparation of Nazushi in the Muromachi period, 1336 to 1573, for the sake of enhancing both taste and preservation. In addition to increasing the sourness of the rice, the vinegar significantly increased the dish's longevity, causing the fermentation process to be shortened and eventually abandoned. The primitive sushi would be further developed in Osaka, where over several centuries it became Oshi Zushi or Hako Zushi. In this preparation, the seafood and rice were pressed into shape with wooden, typically bamboo, mold. It was not until the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, that fresh fish was served over vinegared rice and nori. The particular style of today's nigiri sushi became popular in Edo contemporary Tokyo, in the 1820s or 1830s. One common story of nigiri sushi's origins is of the chef Hanaya Yohei, 1799-1858, who invented or perfected the technique in 1824 at his shop in Raigoku. The dish was originally termed Edomai sushi as it used freshly caught fish from the Edomai, Edo or Tokyo Bay. The term Edomai nigiri sushi is still used today as a byword for quality sushi, regardless of its ingredients' origins. The Oxford English Dictionary mistakenly notes the earliest written mention of sushi in English in an 1893 book, A Japanese Interior, where it mentions sushi as a roll of pulled rice with fish, seaweed, or some other flavoring. However, there is an earlier mention of sushi in James Hepburn's Japanese English Dictionary from 1873, and an 1879 article on Japanese cookery in the journal Notes and Queries. The common ingredient in all types of sushi is vinegared sushi rice. Fillings, toppings, condiments, and preparation vary widely. Note that due to rendaku consonant mutation, sushi is spelled with tsu instead of su whenever a prefix is attached, such as in nigiri sushi for instance. Karashizoshi, scattered sushi, also referred to as baroshi, serves the rice in a bowl and tops it with a variety of raw fish and vegetable garnishes. It is commonly eaten because it is filling, fast and easy to make. It is eaten annually on Hinamatsuri in March. Inari sushi is a pouch of fried tofu typically filled with sushi rice alone. Tales tell that Inari sushi is named after the Shinto god Inari. Foxes, messengers of Inari, are believed to have a fondness for fried tofu, and an Inari sushi roll has pointed corners that resemble fox ears. Regional variations include pouches made of a thin omelet, fukusa sushi, or chokin sushi, instead of tofu. It should not be confused with Inari maki which is a roll filled with flavored fried tofu. Kone sushi is a variant of inari sushi originating in Hawaii that may include green beans, carrots, or gobo along with rice, wrapped in a triangular abridged piece. It is often sold in okazuya, Japanese delis, and as a component of bento boxes. Mikizushi, rolled sushi, nori maki, nori roll, or makimono, variety of rolls, is a cylindrical piece formed with the help of a bamboo mat known as a makisu. Mikizushi is generally wrapped in nori, seaweed, but is occasionally wrapped in a thin omelet, soy paper, cucumber, or shiso, perilla, leaves. Mikizushi is usually cut into six or eight pieces, which constitutes a single roll order. Below are some common types of mikizushi, but many other kinds exist. Futamaki, thick, large or fat rolls, is a large cylindrical piece, usually with nori on the outside. A typical futamaki is 5 to 6 centimeters, 2 to 2.5 in, in diameter. They are often made with 2, 3, 
or more fillings that are chosen for their complementary tastes and colors. During the evening of the Setsubun festival, it is traditional in the Kansai region to eat uncut food amaki in its cylindrical form, where it is called amaki, lit. Happy Direction Rolls. By 2000 the custom had spread to all of Japan. Futamaki are often vegetarian, and may utilize strips of cucumber, kampio gourd, take no ko bamboo shoots, or lotus root. Strips of tamago yaki omelette, tiny fish roe, chopped tuna, and oboro, food, white fish flakes are typical non-vegetarian fillings. Traditionally, the rice is lightly seasoned with salt and sesame oil slash perilla oil. Popular protein ingredients are fish cakes, imitation crab meat, eggs, or seasoned beef ribeye. Vegetables usually include cucumbers, spinach, carrot and, pickled radish. After the makizushi has been rolled and sliced, it is typically served with takuan. Short grain white rice is usually used, although short grain brown rice, like olive oil and nori, is now becoming more widespread among the health conscious. Rarely, sweet rice is mixed in makizushi rice. Nowadays, the rice in makizushi can be many kinds of black rice boiled rice and cereals etc. Besides the common ingredients listed above, some varieties may include cheese, spicy cooked squid, yakiniku, kamaboko, lunch meat, sausage, bacon or spicy tuna. The nori may be brushed with sesame oil or sprinkled with sesame seeds. In a variation, sliced pieces of mikizushi may be lightly fried with egg coating. Tamago mikizushi, is mikizushi is rolled out by a thin egg. Tempura mikizushi, or ajizushi is a fried version of the dish. Hasamaki, thin rolls, is a small cylindrical piece, with nori on the outside. A typical hasamaki has a diameter of about 2.5 cm, 1 in. They generally contain only one filling, often tuna, cucumber, confio, thinly sliced carrots, or, more recently, avocado. Katamaki, a kind of hasamaki filled with cucumber, is named after the Japanese legendary water imp fond of cucumbers called the kappa. Traditionally, kapamaki is consumed to clear the palate between eating raw fish and other kinds of food, so that the flavors of the fish are distinct from the tastes of other foods. Tekamaki, is a kind of hasamaki filled with raw tuna. Although it is believed that the word teka, meaning red hot iron, alludes to the color of the tuna flesh or salmon flesh, it actually originated as a quick snack to eat in gambling dens called tekaba, much like the sandwich. Nejitoromaki, is a kind of hasamaki filled with scallion, neki, and chopped tuna, toro. Fatty tuna is often used in this style. Tsunamiyamaki, is a kind of hasamaki filled with canned tuna tossed with mayonnaise. Tamaki, hand roll, is a large cone-shaped piece of nori on the outside and the ingredients spilling out the wide end. A typical tamaki is about 10 centimeters, 4 in long, and is eaten with fingers because it is too awkward to pick it up with chopsticks. For optimal taste and texture, Tamaki must be eaten quickly after being made because the nori cone soon absorbs moisture from the filling and loses its crispness, making it somewhat difficult to bite through. For this reason, the nori in pre made or takeout tamaki is sealed in plastic film which is removed immediately before eating. Nazushi, matured sushi, is a traditional form of fermented sushi. Skinned and gutted fish are stuffed with salt, placed in a wooden barrel, doused with salt again, then weighed down with a heavy tsukimanoishi, pickling stone. As days pass, water seeps out and is removed. After six months, this sushi can be eaten, remaining edible for another six months or more. The most famous variety of nezushi are the ones offered as a specialty dish of Shiga Prefecture, particularly the funazushi made from fish of the Crucian carp genus, the authentic version of which calls for the use Nigarabuna, a particular locally differentiated variety of wild goldfish endemic to Lake Biwa. Nigiri sushi, hand pressed sushi consists of an oblong mound of sushi rice that the chef presses between the palms of the hands to form an oval-shaped ball, and a topping, the nita, draped over the ball. It is usually served with a bit of wasabi. Nita are typically fish such as salmon, tuna or other seafood. Certain toppings are typically bound to the rice with a thin strip of nori, most commonly octopus, taco, freshwater eel, unagi, sea eel, anago, squid, ika, and sweet egg, tamago. One order of a given type of fish typically results in two pieces, while a sushi set, sampler dish, may contain only one piece off each topping. Gunakanmaki, worship roll, is a special type of nigiri sushi, an oval, 
hand-formed clump of sushi rice that has a strip of nori wrapped around its perimeter to form a vessel that is filled with some soft, loose or fine chopped ingredient that requires the confinement of nori such as roe, natto, oysters, uni, sea urchin roe, corn with mayonnaise, scallops, and quail eggs. Gunakan maki was invented at the Ginza Kubi restaurant in 1941, its invention significantly expanded the repertoire of soft toppings used in sushi. Temuri Zoshi, Ball Sushi, is a sushi made by pressing rice and fish into a ball-shaped form by hand using a plastic wrap. Also known as, is a pressed sushi from the Kansai region, a favorite and specialty of Osaka. A block-shaped piece is formed using a wooden mold, called an ashibako. The chef lines the bottom of the ashibako with the toppings, covers them with sushi rice, and then presses the lid of the mold down to create a compact, rectilinear block. The block is removed from the mold and then cut into bite-sized pieces. Particularly famous is, batara, pressed mackerel sushi, or, sabazushi. In ashizushi, all the ingredients are either cooked or cured and raw fish is never used. The increasing popularity of sushi around the world has resulted in variations typically found in the Western world, but rarely in Japan. A notable exception to this is use of salmon, which was introduced by Bjorn Erik Olsen, a Norwegian businessman tasked with helping the Norwegian salmon industry sell more fish in the early 1980s. Such creations to suit the Western palate were initially fueled by the invention of the California roll, a norimaki with crab, later, imitation crab, cucumber and avocado. A wide variety of popular rolls, norimaki and uramaki, has evolved since. Norway roll is another variant of uramakizushi filled with tamago, omelet, imitation crab and cucumber, rolled with shiso leaf and nori, topped with slices of Norwegian salmon, garnished with lemon and mayonnaise. Uramaki, inside out roll, is a medium-sized cylindrical piece with two or more fillings, and was developed as a result of the creation of the California roll as a method originally meant to hide the nori. Uramaki differs from other makimono because the rice is on the outside and the nori inside. The filling is in the center surrounded by nori, then a layer of rice, and optionally an outer coating of some other ingredients such as roe or toasted sesame seeds. It can be made with different fillings, such as tuna, crab meat, avocado, mayonnaise, cucumber or carrots. Examples of variations include the rainbow roll, an inside out topped with thinly sliced maguro, hamachi, Ebi, sake and avocado, and the caterpillar roll, and inside out topped with thinly sliced avocado. Also commonly found is the rock and roll, an inside out roll with barbecued freshwater eel and avocado with toasted sesame seeds on the outside. In Japan, uramaki is an uncommon type of makimono, because sushi is traditionally eaten by hand in Japan, the outer layer of rice can be quite difficult to handle with fingers. Futamaki is a more popular variation of sushi within the United States, and comes in variations that take their names from their place of origin. Other rolls may include a variety of ingredients, including chopped scallops, spicy tuna, beef or chicken teriyaki roll, okra, and assorted vegetables such as cucumber on avocado, and the tempura roll, where shrimp tempura is inside the roll or the entire roll is battered and fried tempura style. In the southern United States, Many sushi restaurants prepare rolls using crawfish. Sometimes, rolls are made with brown rice or black rice, which appear in Japanese cuisine as well. Per Food and Drug Administration regulations, raw fish served in the United States must be frozen prior to serving in order to kill parasites. Because of this and the relative difficulty of acquiring fresh seafood compared to Japan, raw seafood, for example, sashimi, is not as prevalent of a component in American style sushi. Since rolls are usually made to order it is not unusual for the customer to specify the exact ingredients desired, for example salmon roll, cucumber roll, avocado roll, shrimp slash tuna tempura roll, tuna roll, etc. Though the menu names of dishes often vary by restaurant, some examples include All sushi has a base of specially prepared rice, complemented with other ingredients. Sushi meshi, also known as sumeshi, shari, or gohan is a preparation of white, short-grained, Japanese rice mix with a dressing consisting of rice vinegar, sugar, salt, and occasionally kombu and sake. It has to be cooled to room temperature before being used for a filling in a sushi or else it will get too sticky while being seasoned. Traditionally, the mixing is done with a hangri, which is a round, flat-bottom wooden tub or barrel, and a wooden paddle, shamoji. Sushi rice is prepared with short-grained Japanese rice, 
which has a consistency that differs from long grain strains such as those from India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Thailand, and Vietnam. The essential quality is its stickiness or glutinousness, although the type of rice used for sushi is different from glutinous rice. Freshly harvested rice, shinmei, typically contains too much water and requires extra time to drain the rice cooker after washing. In some fusion cuisine restaurants, short grain brown rice and wild rice are also used. There are regional variations in sushi rice and individual chefs have their individual methods. Most of the variations are in the rice vinegar dressing. The Kanto region or East Japan, version of the dressing commonly uses more salt. In Kansai region, or West Japan, the dressing has more sugar. The black seaweed wrappers used in makimono are called nori. Nori is a type of algae, traditionally cultivated in the harbors of Japan. Originally, algae was scraped from dock pilings, rolled out into thin, edible sheets, and dried in the sun, in a process similar to making rice paper. Today, the commercial product is farmed, processed, toasted, packaged, and sold in sheets. The size of a nori sheet influences the size of makimono. A full-size sheet produces futamaki, and a half produces hasamaki and tamaki. To produce gunkan and some other makimono, an appropriately sized piece of nori is cut from a whole sheet. Nori by itself is an edible snack and is available with salt or flavored with teriyaki sauce. The flavored variety, however, tends to be of lesser quality and is not suitable for sushi. When making fukusa zushi, a paper-thin omelet may replace a sheet of nori as the wrapping. The omelet is traditionally made on a rectangular omelet pan, mikiyakan abe, and used to form the patch for the rice and fillings. For culinary, sanitary, and aesthetic reasons, the minimum quality and freshness of fish to be eaten raw must be superior to that of fish which is to be cooked. Sushi chefs are trained to recognize important attributes, including smell, color, firmness, and freedom from parasites that may go undetected in commercial inspection. Commonly used fish are tuna, maguro. Shiro Maguro, Japanese Amberjack, Yellowtail, Hamachi, Snapper, Kurodai, Mackerel, Saba, and Salmon, Sake. The most valued sushi ingredient is toro, the fatty cut of the fish. This comes in a variety of otoro, often from the bluefin species of tuna, and hotoro, meaning middle toro, implying that it is halfway into the fattiness between toro and the regular cut. A blurry style refers to nigiri sushi where the fish is partially grilled, topside and partially raw. Most nigiri sushi will have completely raw nita. Other seafoods such as squid, ika, eel, anago and dunagi, pike conger, hamo, octopus, taco, shrimp, ebiana maybe, clam, miragai, aoyagi and akagai, fish roe, ikara, misago, kazunoko and jobiko, sea urchin, uni, crab, kani, and various kinds of shellfish, abalone, prawn, scallop, are the most popular seafoods in sushi. Oysters, however, are less common, as the taste is not thought to go well with the rice. Kanikama, or imitation crab stick, is commonly substituted for real crab, most notably in California rolls. Pickled daikon radish, takuan, in shinko maki, pickled vegetables, sukemono, fermented soybeans, natto, in natto maki, avocado, cucumber in kapamaki, asparagus, yam. Pickled yumi, umeboshi, gourd, confio, burdock, gobo, and sweet corn, possibly mixed with mayonnaise, are also used in sushi. Tofu and eggs, in the form of slightly sweet, layered omelette called tamago yaki and rockway legs ride as a gunakan maki topping, are common. Sushi is commonly eaten with condiments. Sushi may be dipped in shoyu, soy sauce, and is usually flavored with wasabi a piquant paste made from the grated steam off the wasabi a japonica plant. Japanese-style mayonnaise is a common condiment in Japan on salmon, pork and other sushi cuts. True wasabi has antimicrobial properties and may reduce the risk of food poisoning. The traditional grating tool for wasabi is the sharkskin grater or samegawa uroshi. An imitation wasabi, seyo wasabi, made from horseradish, mustard powder and greened eye is common. It is found at lower-end kaiden sushi restaurants, in bento box sushi and at most restaurants outside Japan. If manufactured in Japan, it may be labeled Japanese horseradish. Gari, sweet, pickled ginger, is eaten in between sushi courses to both cleanse the palate and aid in digestion. In Japan, green tea, ocha, 
is invariably served together with sushi. Better sushi restaurants often use a distinctive premium tea known as mecca. In sushi vocabulary, green tea is known as agari. Sushi may be garnished with gobo, grated daikon, thinly sliced vegetables, carrots slash radishes slash cucumbers that have been shaped to look like flowers, real flowers, or seaweed salad. When closely arranged on a tray, different pieces are often separated by green strips called baran or kirisasa. These dividers prevent the flavors of neighboring pieces of sushi from mixing and help to achieve an attractive presentation. Originally, these were cut leaves from the Aspidistra ladior, Haran, and Sasa viachiae, Kumazasa, plants, respectively. Using actual leaves had the added benefit of releasing antimicrobial phytoncides when cut thereby extending the limited shelf life of the sushi. Sushi bento boxes are a staple of Japanese supermarkets and convenience stores. As these stores began rising in prominence in the 1960s, the labor-intensive cut leaves were increasingly replaced with green plastic in order to lower costs. This coincided with the increased prevalence of refrigeration which acted to extend the shelf life of sushi without the need for the cut leaves. Today the plastic strips are commonly used in sushi bento boxes and to a lesser degree in sushi presentations found in sushi bars and restaurants. In store sold or togo packages of sushi, the plastic leaf strips are often used to prevent the rolls from coming entirely or unwanted contact with the ginger and wasabi included with the dish. The main ingredients of traditional Japanese sushi, raw fish and rice, are naturally low in fat, high in protein, carbohydrates, the rice only, vitamins, and minerals, as are gari and nori. Other vegetables wrapped within the sushi also offer various vitamins and minerals. Many of the seafood ingredients also contain omega-3 fatty acids, which have a variety of health benefits. The omega-3 fatty acids found in fish has certain beneficial property, especially on cardiovascular health, natural anti-inflammatory compounds, and play a role in brain function. Generally sushi is not a particularly fattening food. However, rice and sushi contains a fair amount of carbohydrates, Plus the addition of other ingredients such as mayonnaise added into sushi rolls might increase the caloric content. Sushi also has a relatively high sodium content, especially contributed from shoyu soy sauce seasoning. Some of the ingredients in sushi can present health risks. Large marine apex predators such as tuna, especially bluefin, can harbor high levels of methylmercury, which can lead to mercury poisoning when consumed in large quantity or when consumed by certain higher risk groups including women who are pregnant or may become pregnant, nursing mothers and young children. According to recent studies, there have been about 18 million infections worldwide from eating raw fish. This serves as a great risk to expecting mothers due to the health risks that medical interventions or treatment measures may pose on the developing fetus. Parasitic infections can have a wide range of health impacts, including bowel obstruction, anemia, liver disease, and more. The impact of these illnesses alone can pose some health concerns on the expecting mother and baby, but the curative measures that may need to take place to recover, are also a concern as well. Sashimi or other types of sushi containing raw fish present a risk of infection by three main types of parasites. For the above reasons, EU regulations forbid the use of fresh raw fish. It must be frozen at temperatures below in all parts of the product for no less than 24 hours. As such, a number of fishing boats, Suppliers and end-users super-freeze fish for sushi to temperatures as low as minus 60 degrees Celsius. As well as parasite destruction, super-freezing also prevents oxidation of the blood in tuna flesh, thus preventing the discoloration that happens at temperatures above minus 20 degrees Celsius. Some forms of sushi, notably those containing puffer fish fugu and some kinds of shellfish, can cause severe poisoning if not prepared properly. Particularly, fugu consumption can be fatal. Fugu fish has a lethal dose of tetrodotoxin in its internal organs and, by law in many countries, must be prepared by a licensed fugu chef who has passed the prefectural examination in Japan. The licensing examination process consists of a written test, a fish identification test, and a practical test that involves preparing the fugu and separating out the poisonous organs. Only about 35% of the applicants pass. Sustainable sushi is sushi made from fished or farmed sources that can be maintained or whose future production does not significantly jeopardize the ecosystems from which it is acquired. Concerns over the sustainability of sushi ingredients arise from greater concerns over environmental, economic and social stability and human health. Traditionally, 
Sushi is served on minimalist Japanese style, geometric, mono or duo tone wood or lacquer plates, in keeping with the aesthetic qualities of this cuisine. Many sushi restaurants offer fixed price sets, selected by the chef from the catch of the day. These are often graded as SHO Chiku Bay, SHO slash Matsu, Pine, Chiku slash Dake, Bamboo, and Bay slash Yumi, with Matsu the most expensive and Yumi the cheapest. Sushi restaurants will often have private booth dining, where guests are asked to remove their shoes, leaving them outside the room, however, most sushi bars offer diners a casual experience with an open dining room concept. Sushi may be served kaiden sushi, sushi train, style. Color-coded plates of sushi are placed on a conveyor belt. As the belt passes, customers choose as they please. After finishing, the bill is tallied by counting how many plates of each color have been taken. Newer kaiden sushi restaurants use barcodes or fit tags embedded in dishes to manage elapsed time after the item was prepared. Some specialized or slang terms are used in the sushi culture. Most of these terms are used only in sushi bars. Unlike sashimi, which is almost always eaten with chopsticks, nigiri sushi is traditionally eaten with the fingers, even in formal settings. Although it is commonly served on a small platter with a side dish for dipping, sushi can also be served in a bento, a box with small compartments that hold the various dishes at the meal. Soy sauce is the usual condiment and sushi is normally served with a small sauce dish, or a compartment in the bento. Traditional etiquette suggests that the sushi is turned over so that only the topping is dipped, this is because the soy sauce is for flavoring the topping, not the rice, and because the rice would absorb too much soy sauce and would fall apart. If it is difficult to turn the sushi upside down, one can baste the sushi in soy sauce using gari, sliced ginger, as a brushed out toppings that have their own sauce, such as eel, should not be eaten with soy sauce. Traditionally, the sushi chef will add an appropriate amount of wasabi to the sushi while preparing it, and etiquette suggests eating the sushi as is, since the chef is supposed to know the proper amount of wasabi to use. However, today wasabi is more a matter of personal taste, and even restaurants in Japan may serve wasabi on the side for customers to use at their discretion, even when there is wasabi already in the dish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.